Here in Pyongyang, government officials are strongly condemning this latest round of UN Security Council sanctions, using words like evil, vicious, calling it a full-scale economic blockade. But when you go out on the streets and speak with regular people, they don't seem concerned at all. It's tough to find a traffic light in Pyongyang. Traffic cops direct the flow of cars. The streets noticeably busier each time I come here. Busier, at least for now. The U.S. says the latest U.N. sanctions threaten to cut North Korea's oil supply by nearly a third, which could spike prices for everything from taxis to energy. A ban on textile exports and the end of foreign labor contracts could further slash the income of this cash-starved country. But if you ask Ri Hye-hyung, she's not worried. Her refreshment stand has a steady flow of customers. She says life is improving, despite round after round of increasingly heavy sanctions. We have no problems, she says. Everything I'm selling is made locally. We don't worry. We rely on ourselves. Kim Hae-song casually shrugs off threats from the United States. The U.S. President Donald Trump said that these sanctions are just not a big deal and that there's much worse to come. Does that worry you at all? We don't care what the U.S. President says or what the outside world thinks about us, she says. We don't worry because we believe in the leadership of Marshal Kim Jong-un. Keep in mind, this is a very thin slice of life in this closed country. It's good. Reporters like us can only see what the government allows. But all over the North Korean capital, we see plenty of new construction, an increasingly modern skyline, a mandate from North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, determined to prove he can grow the economy and the nuclear program, all in the face of unprecedented sanctions for his repeated violations of international law. You see these posters all over Pyongyang, and they pretty much sum up North Korea's official response to increased pressure from the U.S. More missiles. North Korean propaganda is built around their nuclear program. It symbolizes strength, independence. It's key to their national identity. Is there anything, anything at all, that could get North Korea to walk away from its nuclear program? We'll never give them up, says Ri chang Son. If we did, it would mean our destruction. Around town, new posters show a pair of hands ripping up U.N. sanctions resolutions. North Korea's defiant message, they will never give up their nukes, even if that means life is about to get a lot harder. And that really is the bottom line. North Korea says nuclear weapons are vital to their survival as a nation. And they say these latest U.N. sanctions will only speed up, not slow, their development of weapons of mass destruction, threatening to escalate an already dangerous situation even further. I'm Will Ripley reporting in Pyongyang, North Korea.